It's a Monday. It's great to see you. My name is Sid Sarah. This is BT. There's a new Toronto source for pizza that is so unconcerned about whether their pizzas are ugly. They actually name themselves Bad Toss. Joining us this morning to talk about the name and the pizza that you put in your face is Robert Fryer. Good morning, Robert. How you doing? Good morning, guys, and good morning, Toronto. What a lovely day, and what a lovely way to start the week. Starting with, with some pizza on a Monday. Can't beat it, Robert. I don't care what the weather is. So right. we appreciate you joining. All right, let's start with the name. <laughs> Bad Toss Pizza. Normally with a pizza name, you want something like good pizza or good things to buy. Why the name Bad Toss, and where did it come from? I want to do, uh, completely flip it up and try something a little bit different, a little bit of shock factor. And the reality is um, when I first started doing the pizzas, they are complete disasters. It looked like I took a bunch of dough and slapped it on a piece of uh, a piece of paper, and it just looked terrible. And I was like, you know, I'm not a professional pizziola like the guys in my area. I live in the West End of Toronto. But I was trying my best, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just make some fun of this. I'm getting better now. The shapes are getting more improved. But I wanted to go with something a little uh, less traditional and uh, really get the name out there. <laughs> you know what, Robert? It's refreshing to talk to an honest chef because you don't hear a lot of chefs go, you know what? I sucked for a long time, then things got really good. When did things change for you? Because i gotta, I got to be honest, what you have in front of me looks delicious, and I will dive in here momentarily. Well, it took some time to, to get to that point. I mean, we had a lot of time at home in the last couple of years, and I uh, just started perfecting things. But one thing's really started to shift around is when they opened up the commercial kitchen in my local area, and I was trying to scale up for making a couple at home, friends and family, and testing things out, going to making 50 or so in a day, over a couple of days, you start to really hone your craft and, and get those hours in just to pull that off. So, Robert, do you actually, like, how is your actual pizza tossing skills? Like, do you put, like, do you have bad tosses? Like, do you, <laughs> do you is that your company motto? Like, is that how it works? If I was to actually pull that off and spin something in the air, I'd land on the floor, and you probably wouldn't want to eat that. No. But, uh, no, we but it would be on brand. style bar style pizzas, so... Um, It'd be completely on brand, and maybe I'll do a funny video on that. I, I think it would. I think it would travel. I think you get some clicks out of that. Um, so as you were as you were learning <laughs> here, Robert, because I'm I'm going to jump in and taste it in a second. How did you did you go to someone else for tips? Did you ask around? Like like walk us through the process. What I did was um, I started just going crazy with the YouTube videos, trying to learn different techniques, uh, trying to learn different formulations. Um, it's all about the dough and starting with that and then combining things together. And it takes a long time to uh, to kind of perfect that. I just thought I could throw a pizza together, put some toppings on top and call it a day. Well, there's more intricate things to that. There's all different styles and uh, something that I thought was simple is quite quite complicated. So I really just every day woke up, you know, I had a lot of spare time. Um, my wife was pregnant at the time, so we were, we were uh, spending a lot of time inside to be and uh, I just used some of that time to, to, to educate myself in all, all different mannerisms of making pizza. All right. Well, Robert, I believe in two things. I believe in a strong name that you remember, and I believe in good product. So kudos on the name because <laughs> uh, Bad Toss Pizza is memorable. TheBadToss.com is where people can go to order. TheBadToss.com and at the Bad Toss on social. Now, before we go, moment of truth. I'm going to try the jalapeno, Robert. Is that okay? I'm gonna dive in. Please here. do so. All right, here we go. <laughs> let's let's check this out. Robert, this is delicious. This is delicious. Maybe the good I toss pizza shows up in a neighborhood near me in the not too distant future. But for now, it's the bad toss, and it's pretty good. It's not bad <laughs> at all. Robert, all the <laughs> best, it. man. Good luck in this endeavor. I love the name. The pizza's really good. All the best. There's tons to you, more to come.